let's just go down and fly low and see if we can get him to, to spawn. Oh, there he is! Woo! <laughs>Welcome back everybody to Osiris New Dawn and the Discovery Update. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to build the rest of the vehicles uh, that are available to us and check them out and then see how our time goes from there. So there's our there's our droid. He's all just kind of screwed up. <laughs> yeah, the droids are a little bit uh, not working super well, but uh, hopefully that's something they'll, they'll get fixed. All right, let me uh, turn off my bloom here. And let's go into here and turn off the missions. I still haven't gotten back over to finish salvage the crash. At some point, I'll, I'll probably do that or not. <laughs> it just depends. Uh, so, okay. One uh, very interesting comment that you guys left was um, you, want, you wondered if I was able to repair everything because I was using the spanner. And that's a that was a great question. So let's test that and see... If that has anything to do with the price of eggs on, in Osiris here. <laughs> uh, so let's go to our tools and let's just grab like the, uh, where is it? I'm looking for, yeah, let's grab this makeshift screwdriver. So that's the second to the worst um, salvaging tool, right, in the game. And so we're going to, I don't have any salvage near here. So what we'll do is we'll... We'll go ahead and make the um, the mech and the other you know the other vehicles, and then when we're out and about, when we find some salvage, we'll test that because that's a really good question. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we need to do to build. Uh, why does that keep going off? There we go. Um, to build the these other vehicles, so we we already have the spaceship. So let's let's start with the mech. So we're gonna need a dural lumen a wire, circuit boards, talonite brass, gunmetal, oh gunmetal. Man, we I, I'm afraid we're gonna run out of tin. I hope we don't need a lot of tin for building the space station. Uh, but anyway, uh, that stuff there, and then for the uh, ground assault vehicle, we're going to need those items, and for the hover bike, we're going to need those items. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to gather all of these components up, and then once I have everything, I'll bring you guys back. We'll make these things, and then we will check them out. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, um, and we have everything we need to make the mech, but before we do, I have some very sad news for you guys. Very, very sad news. We lost Mr. Krabs. That's right. I was out uh, on Mr. Krabs looking for some silver because I was out of, I didn't have enough silver to finish all the components we needed for the mech. And we were over by, um, oh shit, I don't know, somewhere over there. <laughs> I, I, and he fell through the world with me on him. And then all of a sudden the, um, my camera, I, I lost kind of control of, of my camera and it just started moving across the landscape. And then I finally was able to dismount and it threw me back up on the ground, but the, the crab disappeared. So I reported, I did a bug report on it, but, um, I, and I logged back out and logged back in, but I can't, couldn't find the crab. So very unfortunate. And the thing that really makes it suck is that I'm usually pretty good about making manual backups of my games. And I just so happened to forget to do it after the last episode, you, you know, go figure, right? Um, so I loaded up the previous save, which was day 27, two days ago, and I at that point I had not filled up all of my liquid tanks, and I hadn't built the platform, you know, for the spaceship yet, and I just, uh, I didn't want to have to do all that stuff over again, so we're just going to have to say goodbye to Mr. Krabs. It really sucks, but it is what it is, so, and uh, yeah, that's it. We have to move on. Um, so, let's uh, do that. Um... I'm, I'm not sure, guys, if I'm going to make the ground assault vehicle right now because it requires it requires 10 friggin' gunmetal. That is so damned expensive. I mean, 10. Come on. More than even the mech does. So we'll have to think about that. We, we should be able to make the hover bike. I don't think that one's going to be a problem. Um, but, man, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make the ground assault vehicle. We, we, might, have to, we might have to do something about the, the 10 situation 
Um, now, if you guys didn't know this, in Experimental, the new Experimental, they've act added more tin to the map. So it's okay, you know, moving forward. But with with this particular version of the game, um, we're kind of hosed. Unless they've added more tin to this version too, which I, I haven't heard if they have. Um, supposedly, though, if they have, it's I, I, it might be out in the desert. So I think what we're going to do is we might head out there and um, see if we can find some. Uh, you know, on the mech. So anyway, let's go ahead and make the heavy class OAMU. In other words, the mech. And there he is. All right, cool. So this thing, this is a, is a great vehicle. Um, it's uh, it is a little bit wonky to get up into. There we go. Of course, it was also sitting up in the air, but it's pretty fun. Um, it doesn't have it, the the fire rate of the crab, and it's only two bolts instead of three. So that's why I prefer the crab for, um, you know, for mining. Though, with you know, with the the changes in the mining, you know, where you have to pick everything up now, I'm not not a super fan of that anymore. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this is the mech. He's he's pretty fast. If we can get him. What the hell? Am I stuck on something? Yeah. So he, he moves along at a fairly good pace, a little bit faster than the crab. And, you know, he's pretty tough. And his shots are pretty powerful if they haven't, you know, changed anything. Um, so he does a decent amount of damage, but he, but he doesn't have a really fast fire rate. So he's not, you know, as good as the crab mech when it comes to actual mining. Um, you know, notwithstanding the fact that you have to still pick the, the nodes up now. But anyway, uh, yeah, here's the mech. So cool. Now, he's got, uh, let's check his storage space. I can't remember how much storage space he has. Okay, he's got two slots. <laughs> the crab mech has one. So, yeah, the, you don't really use these vehicles a whole lot for, for storage. But I'll tell you what let's do. Let's set our uh, our thingamadoodle here to 10. And we're going to actually go out into the deep desert and see if, we're going we're gonna to actually look for a couple of things. We're going to see if, he seems to be having a little bit of trouble walking on the terrain. If the worms have been restored in this version, they they have on experimental. And uh, because because I guess the deal with the worms is they only come out during a sandstorm, um, but they changed it back to where they just come out all the time. But I don't know if that's going to work on the release version. It's it's supposed to have been fixed on the experimental version, uh, but. They could, like I said, they could have also added, potentially added um, some tin out here too. So let's look around and just do a little bit exploring in the deep desert. And uh, yeah, one thing about the vehicles is you can't fire while you're moving. So you have to stop to fire. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. It doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. Um, you know, you should be able to fire and move at the same time. So I don't know why it, you know, things are that way, but that's kind of the way they are right now. But anyway, yeah, this is the, this is no man's land or the deep desert. Um, trying to remember what's actually called. <laughs> there's, I think there's an actual name for it, but I just call it the deep desert. And uh, there's not a whole lot out here. Well, there actually, there's a whole lot of land out here, but there's hardly anything. Here, I mean, they could make this map so much larger if they would just expand the the playfield area out into here further, um, and maybe they will at some future date. I don't know if they will or not, but anyway, uh, we are supposed to be able to find plutonium out here. Not that that's really that big of a deal because you can make plutonium in the forge just by smelting uranium. But it, it does look kind of cool out here, though. I mean, you know, we got the big old planet Thesis Prime in the background and everything. It's pretty neat. Um, the mech does not use fuel, but he does take damage, and looks like we've already taken a little bit of damage, probably fall damage or something, which is a little bit, I don't know, you'd, you'd think he'd be a little tougher than that, you know, but apparently, apparently we get a little fall damage, so. All right, well, um, yeah, apparently the worm doesn't work, uh, still in the release version, but it will in experimental. So if you guys come out here in experimental, be on your guard because the worms gonna, are going to attack. And uh, so I just, I, I'm not even seeing any ore or anything out here. Of course, we're beyond our, our scan range now, so we'd have to hop out 
but I'm just kind of going, you know, by visibility right at the moment. It looks like there might be a, a satellite uh, over there, and there's something over down this way too. We could go take a quick look see at. But yeah, let's let's talk once again about the tin situation. So I'm very low on tin because of all the gunmetal we've had to make. So we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up into space and we're gonna start looking at. Uh, what is that? Is that gold or sulfur or what is it? Let's take a look. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Oh, that's sulfur. Okay. Hey, anyway, we might as well grab some of it. Interesting. I thought you could only find sulfur in the Bloodleaf Forest, but apparently you can find it out here. So there you go. Um. Anyway, we're going to go up into space. We're going to see what it takes to make the um you know the start building a space station and you know if there's gunmetal involved in that then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to change the settings of the game so that it'll respawn ores again just because otherwise you know we can't finish we can't finish the series and again you know that from what I understand, that has been addressed in experimental by them adding more tin. But as of right now, it kind of looks like you might not be able to make and do everything with, you know, the the limited amount of tin that's available on the map currently. I'd, I, you know, don't quote me on that. I'd have to, I'd have to go back and and actually do the math on it and see if we could make it work. Um, I have found tin in in the loot crates. You know, but, you know, we're talking onesie twosies if you find that at all. So that's not really a reliable source. And I don't think, to my knowledge, I don't think you can get tin from from salvaging. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that you can. So. All right. Well, let's go ahead and salvage this. I need to put my spanner here. And you know what we need to do? I, I, I said we were going to go out and find some salvage to test getting your materials back but actually we what we need to do is we need to test that on something that we make ourselves so when we get back to the base we'll do that i'm just i'm a little bit salty about losing mr krabs um and what i'm actually the most salty about is that it just happened to be the one time that i didn't do a backup of the game i mean friggin murphy's law right oh oh well okay there's some plutonium kind of too bad the worm isn't here because then uh, it'd be kind of fun to show you guys but wait a minute what 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 the hell why am why am I back at the satellite <laughs> what where did our mech go I think we were there he is what the hell game that was weird it teleported me all the way back to the, you know, to the satellite. Bizarre. Makes me a little bit afraid to get off this thing again. Okay. I saw something out this way. Let's go just take a quick look-see. But, you know, I mean, we, we can get plutonium out of here, but we don't really need to. Because, again, we can make it. And I have yet to come across to anything that actually needs plutonium maybe some of the space station parts or something up there will need it perhaps but yeah there's a bunch of plutonium over that way I'm just gonna kind of walk up by these rocks up here and see if there's anything else to look at besides more plutonium but yeah, I mean, if you look out there, the land goes on for a very, very long time. I've flown to the end of it in the spaceship. But look at that. I mean, it just keeps going for quite some time. And they can add so much more to this map in the future. And, and I hope that they will. I haven't, I'm not saying that they are going to. I haven't heard one way or the other. But that would be really nice if they would do that. Give us more play field, you know. Because if you think about it, the surface of Proteus, or the play field, I should say, of Proteus is really not that big. In the grand scheme of things, compared to other games and stuff, so. All right, well, um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Of course, you know, we're, 
we're doing this all kind of on the southeast side, so we have we you we could go at some point to the north and the west to see if there's possibly any tin or anything up there, but it doesn't look like it. What is this up here? Oh, that's just part of the bone sticking out. Okay. All right. Well, let's make our way back to the base. And what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, test the salvage tools and s <clears throat> and see if the, the cheaper one also gives you 100% resources back. And then we're going to hop in the spaceship and go up into space and just take a look and see what you know, what we need to do to get started with the space station. One thing I don't like that the game does is that it doesn't tell us down here what we need to build the space station. So I can't, I can't gather all the resources up that I need and prepare for it down here where everything is. I have to go up into space. I have to write down, um, all the ingredients, right? Or all the, all the pieces I need for the recipe on a piece of paper or take a screenshot or something because there's no way in hell I'm going to remember it <laughs> and then come back down here and get it and go back up there again so it's kind of silly now I you know I didn't show this to you guys but if you go into a mine you can actually build some things inside of a mine too but you don't you can't see what those things are unless you're in the mine so yeah that's not a good game design and something hopefully they add to the list of things that need to fix okay let's um thump Mr. Krabs here so two shots and he's dead so yeah, the mech's pretty powerful. I mean, he's got a nice, lot, lots of oomph to his shot. It's just a slow fire rate is all. And that's fine, you know, for just basic combat, going out and killing crabs and that sort of thing. It's not a problem at all, actually. Uh, it's just not as good as uh, the, uh, the, the, mech, the crab mech is for busting up rocks and stuff. But here again, I'm not convinced that that's even worth doing anymore. So kind of a moot point almost. I guess. Yeah, two two shots and he did. Okay, so since we're by mine one, let's just hop in there real quick for, uh, and I'll show you what I mean about the build menu changing when you change the environment. A little bit uh, stuttery in through here. We need to eat, too, so let's do that. Okay, so if I go into my build menu, um, see, I've got, I've got an underground category that doesn't show up, uh, you know, when we're above ground. So you can set up the workbench, depository metal chest, some lights, an anti-personnel, a couple of turrets and landmines, um, which could be useful, I suppose at some point but you can't you can't like build a base or anything in here because it doesn't you know support that but um while we're here I want I just want to go back to and check really quick and see if there's any more silver left because I'm yeah there's some just really low on silver right now I've pretty much mined uh, almost everything on the surface or, or at least in the area that's close to our base. And um, mined out most of what's in here. Well, I don't know. Do these do these things respawn? Maybe they respawn in the mines. I'm not sure. Because I want to say I came in here earlier and grabbed all this stuff, but it's here again. So maybe it does respawn in the mines. Or we had an update that reset it. But I don't think that's the case because there's no... We still don't have any tin left on the map, so... I think we're in pretty good shape for cobalt and lead and all that stuff, so it's mostly just the silver that I was interested in. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to um, I'm going to meet you back at the base. We'll do the little test with the salvage tools, and then we'll hop up into space and start taking a look at what we need to do to start building our space station. So I'll see you back at the base. Man, this mech is having a lot of trouble getting stuck on stuff. I don't remember this being a problem in the last stable version. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, he's like really getting stuck bad. I mean, look at that. Ridiculous. Hmm. Don't like that. Is this, is this silver or aluminum? Yeah, it's aluminum. That's what I thought. 
Yeah, he's he's getting stuck bad on you know places that he sh shouldn't be getting stuck. This is just ridiculous. Uh, and he he wasn't this way in the last stable release. He was he could get over hills like this, but he is having a hard time. Not good. All right, come on, Phoenix Fire. Let's not go backwards. We're we need to keep going forwards here, guys. Yeah, he's, when he gets up on. You know, a, a hill. He's just see how the game, the screen stuttering. He just, man, this is not good. Okay, let's go back down this way. We're gonna have to try and stay on relatively flat terrain just to get home. You know that that kind of makes him almost unusable too. It's just. I mean, you can't, you can't get around <laughs> unless you stay on a flat area. This doesn't make sense. You did. All right, guys, we're back at the base, and I also re-logged. Um, this guy took a lot of damage, and it was, it was almost all from like you know fall damage and banging into stuff. He's uh he's definitely not as good as he was in the last uh stable release. So yeah, there's more work that's gonna need to be done on this dude. Uh for sure. Uh but anyway, I relogged because you know of the lag problem, and I just want to see if that has potentially has anything at all to do with why he's so bad on hills. Now, see how he's just really having a hard time? I I mean even on gradual hills he's having a hard time. He should be able to scooch right over the top of this stuff, and he's not, so he's definitely not as good as he was. That's really disappointing, too, because, I mean, this is an end-game vehicle, and it's normally, you know, pretty good. But he's just not doing so well. Okay, well, see, <laughs> I can't even move. I'm, like, freaking stuck right there. Okay. And that little jump right there just did about... I'd say 5% of damage to him. Or maybe it's the getting stuck. Okay, look at my health bar in the lower right-hand corner. I'm trying to get it in a spot where you guys can see it. Okay, so see how he's got about 5% of his health down? So is it the getting stuck part in here that's messing him up? I'm trying to see if he's actually taking damage being stuck like... Yeah, he's he's losing health. He's actually losing health when he gets stuck on the hills like that. So, all right. Well, that's that's disappointing. It's uh it's too bad, but uh, I can't guys in good conscience right now recommend that you build the mech cuz he's very expensive to make, very expensive to make. And he's not working the way he needs to. So, I'll try him out in experimental and see if, if he works better in experimental, but in this release version of the discovery update he's he's no good he's just not gonna not gonna cut the mustard i'm gonna move him over here because i probably won't take him out again it's too bad so we lost mr Krabs, who was working great <laughs> in this episode and we spent a whole bunch of resources on the mech and he's all gimped yay us okay well is what it is right now let's see here um I want to make something that's sort of kind of substantial so we can do our little test with the salvage tool. Yeah, how about we do a furnace? Furnace isn't super expensive, but it's, you know, it's got a few parts to it and stuff. So let's go into here. And for the furnace, what are we going to need again? Utilities. So we need scrap metal, makeshift, barrel, and crude pipe. Uh, okay, so there's all of that. Uh, scrap metal. So we need two crude. Okay, let's get, let's get the exact amount. Um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this. I'm gonna put this ore away too, by the way. So yeah, um, I, when I was out and about before I started the camera, I, I looted a chest and I got four more tin out of that chest, uh, which is great. And I, I got some more diamonds because I went into mine too uh, to look for silver and I, I grabbed some out of the chest in there. There's actually 
multiple chests in mind too. But I couldn't sit here and tell you exactly how to get to him. I just kind of wandered around when I to fight him. Not that we need more diamonds, and we got plenty of diamonds, anyways. But what I want to do is I want to make sure we don't have anything in our inventory except for the materials that we need to actually build the the furnace. So we only need two of these. We don't need that. That's a broken barrel. Actually, that goes outside. And then, let's see, we need uh, only two pieces of scrap. So let's grab those two pieces. We can put that in there. Okay, so we have everything except for the barrel. Let's go get that. That's going to be out here. So broken barrels go in here. And it looks like I have some jar overflow because this is, or at least at one point it was 100%. Okay, so we've got all the stuff that we need to make a furnace. So let's let's go ahead and build a furnace. There we go. Okay, so I've already shown you that, that if you use the spanner, you get everything back. But let's just try it again. So dismantle. And if you look as the stuff flashes on the screen on the right, we get all of the stuff back. And we can also go into F2 and click on the furnace. And, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. F2. And you, you can see that we have everything, right? Because it wouldn't show up if we didn't. Okay. So let's build it again. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take it apart with the makeshift screwdriver, which is the second to the worst salvage tool in the game, and see if we get everything back. Yep, we do. Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter what type of salvage tool you have when you disassemble something, you still appear to get 100% of the resources back, which is awesome. Uh, it was a, it was a test, definitely a good comment. I'm, I don't remember who left the comment, but uh, that was definitely a good comment, and it was worth uh, worth testing out. So thank you very much for leaving that comment. Uh, all right, let's get this barrel back in here. If this if the mech was actually working the way it's supposed to, I'd take him back out on the sand right now and see if we could scare up a sandworm, but he's not. So. <laughs> um. I don't know if you can scare up a sandworm in the spaceship or not. I've never really tried to do that. Whoa. Let's just go down and fly low and see if we can get him to, to spawn. Oh, there he is! Woo! Oh, man, I wish we had a third-person view. Yeah, that's a sandworm, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I couldn't give you a better view of him, but I'm very limited on the, the view that I have. Um, let's, see if we can, let's see if we can get another one to pop up. So, yeah, the in, in this version, in this release version, he'll only come up if there's a sandstorm. But... In the new experimental, they switched it so he'll he'll come up anytime you go out on the sand like he you know it used to be. And I didn't even know that till I read that in the patch notes. I thought they were just plain disabled because you know I mean it's not like I come out here all the time anyways, and definitely wouldn't want to come out here in a sandstorm. But at least we got one to pop up. I'm a little apprehensive about actually landing because of you know this thing takes so damn long to land and then take off again that he could he might nail us and i don't know if <laughs> i don't know if he could destroy our ship or not i wouldn't be surprised if he could what if we kind of skim along the bottom and like touch the ground if it's like the worms in dune it's the vibrations that they hear you know Yeah, the storm's over now. Well, we got to see a glimpse of, of one anyway. 
So let's uh, let me just show you how much room there is out here. We're just gonna fly south as far as we can go. I mean, there's so much more map that they could use, and maybe again, like I said, maybe they will use it at some point. But look, we're it's still going. <laughs> it's just still going until we eventually get to the very edge, you know, of the entire map itself. But yeah, there's um. Gosh, I, I would say there's probably maybe, oh, I don't know, man. So much more room out here. We'll just say so much more room. I mean, the play field is all the way back over there where you see the floating pillars. So, you know, this area out here is probably at least as wide as the play field, maybe even wider on all sides. So they could really expand that. Okay, well, anyway, let's go on up into space here. And we're going to take a look at, whoops, we're going to take a look at, there we go. I'm going to say it's not letting me get up into space. Uh, what we're going to need to do for a space station in terms of materials. Okay, so um, let's slow down. It'd be kind of fun to build the space station near the asteroids. It's a gorgeous view down there. Okay, so slower down. There we go. We're completely at a standstill. Okay, so. Whoa, don't get too far away. Pretty neat view up here, guys. Pretty neat view. There's Glazy 586 or whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> I can never remember what the numbers are. That's a Lutari, which we've already been to, and that's Aziel, which we'll probably go visit in the next episode. Maybe we'll see. But I'm going to press F2, and now we have a space utilities option, which we did not have down on the planet. And uh, so, okay, so actually we have spacecraft and space utilities. So this is just like the same kind of stuff, you know, that we would... Uh, that we would have down below, like the printer and that sort of thing. There's also a cryopod. This can be used to save your progress and replenish your health. Okay, cool. So that's kind of like the bed is down on the planet. And then we have lockers. So there's 20, 20 slots on those. There's a chem station, gas tanks, that sort of thing up here. Uh, but the spacecraft tabs actually where you build all of your space station stuff. And the very first thing we need, of course, is the habitat module. Now, what I want to do is I want to just hover my cursor over these other modules and see if a gunmetal pops up on any of them, because that's the one, um, and and by extension, bronze, because you need bronze to make gunmetal, which also costs 10. So if we don't have bronze or gunmetal, then we shouldn't have any trouble, you know, with resources uh, making this stuff. Okay, I think we're, I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape, uh, because we don't need, we basically don't need ten for any of of the well, at least not any of the structure. Ooh, that takes gunmetal. Uh, electrum. Okay. So the only thing that requires gunmetal is the depository, and it only requires one. All right, that's good to know. So we're in good shape then. We 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 ha we can actually do this. Um, so what I guess I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to basically write down or screenshot or whatever, take a picture on my iPhone, all of the materials that I need to bring up here. And then it, I have to tell you, you know, Phoenix Fire, love you guys. I don't know if you're watching my videos, but this is a major major pain in the ass. You need to let us see this stuff when we're down on the planet, when we have all of our resources with us, and not have to fly up here to look at it and then fly back down to get it just to fly back up here to build it. So, guys, <laughs> please fix that. Um, and anyway, all right, guys, well, now you've seen it. So, and, and as you can probably guess, what we're going to do in the next episode is build our space station. Should be fun. Um, so I'm going to write down all of the stuff that we need. And then, um, you know, get it all together. 
loaded up in the spaceship, and then at the start of the next episode, we'll come up here and we'll build ourselves a space station, and it should be pretty fun. So the habitat module, of course, is the main building. And, you know, the thing is, is this actually, if there's an engine module, this is actually the ship um, or, or, or can become a ship. I wonder if we can actually fly it once we build it. I don't know. It'll be kind of cool to, to check it out, though. And some of this stuff, you know, we're going to actually need multiple parts for, too. So I'll, I'll try and get, you know, get, okay, we need plutonium for that. That's interesting. But I'll try and get a, an, a, an idea of what we might need to make more than one of and bring up resources for that, too. So anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and don't make the mech. It's not worth it. Hopefully they'll fix it soon. Um, it's a, it's disappointing, but I don't know why I just said that because we're ending the episode. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.